Here we have the Travax Summit, another fine American-made product. Comes in this thick Ziploc that gives you instructions on how to make adjustments. Now what we got here is some cold rolled steel plate and some mil-spec nylon webbing here. This, this is tough as nails right here. I think this is going to last a long time. It's very sturdy. I like it. This is the forest camo color. Comes in a variety of other colors like black, olive drab, gray. So you got some options if you like to mix it up. The uh, strap looks to be maybe melted here to create this uh, larger area so that it doesn't go through that slit. It comes around down to this buckle and it's pretty easy to adjust the strap to how many cards you're going to carry. You just push it down, pull it through, and push it down. You don't need to take the whole strap out to do that. So yeah, I, my first impression is it looks really cool. It looks very rugged, like it could take a beating, fall down a mountain. It's going to be rock solid. I think I've set the strap for about five cards, but let's take a look. Yep. Yeah, once you set that strap for however many cards you're carrying, it's in there solid. I really like the, the design here. It just seems really well thought out. Like, you've got these notches here and here, which uh, come right down to your your card level so that you can uh, push it down in or you know cascade the cards out to see what you wanna what you want to use it's got a nice little lanyard or carabiner hole there so you throw it on your backpack or whatever I really like it it's very very minimalist I mean this out of all of Trayvax's models this is uh, the summit is definitely the the smallest one the most minimalist and I like it a lot I thought being so open it was going to be a problem and there might be some issues with you know, stuff going flying, but there's not. They're in there solid. I wish it could hold cash. Oh, wait. It can. Even when the strap is on tight, this, uh, I don't know see if you can see it here. Yeah, the, the raised steel here that allows for the strap to weave is great for stuffing money in. It stays right in there, nice and tight. That was three bills. Yeah. Let's try the stack of six here. Might not work. I think they recommend one through five bills and maybe one through eight cards as a max. Yeah, you could get it, but it's just a little tighter. Yeah. So that's one more than they recommend, and I can see why here. It's a little tight. So yeah, stick with one to five bills. And uh, one to eight cards, and you'll be fine. It does say that it has RFID resistance, which surprises me, given how open it is. But hey, it must have some resistance, or they wouldn't have said it. But I dig it. I like their stuff. I like the, their story. I like that they're an American product. I am down with this. This is uh, definitely the wallet I'm going to be rocking if I'm going going out hiking, going whatever, you know, doing manly stuff just because it looks so cool. And it's functional. That's important. Looks good and it's functional. And my cards aren't going to go flying all over the place. Then I'm sold. Good job, Dravex.